Well, as you've been seeing, uh, we're celebrating uh, International Day of Rural Women. And uh, today uh, is a day that recognizes the critical role and contribution of rural women, including indigenous women, in enhancing agricultural and rural development, improving food security, and er eradicating rural poverty. Now, despite women accounting for 60 to 80 percent of smallholder farmers in the developing world, fewer than 20% are actually landholders. Now, this ownership disparity is something that inspired uh, Suzanne Ngubani to start the rural women's movement as far back as 1998 to fight for indigenous women's rights. She joins us now from our studio in Durban. Mama Suzanne, thanks so much indeed for joining us. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. So, Mama, take us back to your childhood because this is really where the story starts, where the, you saw your mother being a subject of gender bias. Tell us that story and what impression it left on you. Oh, ubaba wa moi sebenza e e Johannesburg ngobe iningi la bantu besli sababu se Johannesburg ngalo soskati. U u u malume wa mo ogushkuti umfo wa mo. Kwamba uyena ge otosha umai kaya ngobe tingeka guazi uguta sale ekaya ubabengeko kunono umshaba lo esake guona gube owa ke manjen as asanga umaga gozanga gishupuma na no mayin ngoguti minum dona wa ke umdala wa wangre duguti asambe siye endudneni ubabum talane siyo duguti amamele umshab. Orangab Gisaga cool, no one genza, Gijel, which you umas and coolil, Gifunuk by inene, Yabandu, Aba Abazoluela, Amalungel, but the best fazan in Umshab, Gallos of Scarting, Gagin and Miaga, Eu ten Ubabum Talane Wati, Maman Kuban, Gaben Gag Nigeza, Umshab, Manjin King, I am Guti, Umtuana Wakum Dala, Windom Bazan, Uguti, Umfana, Domtana Wakum Gaben Gig Nigeza Manj, Umawas Wahamba, Wayo Shala, Ka Antuak and Goba, Engega was Guabelua, Umshaba, Kupel and Goba Umun to his Fazan. Logo Gung Pataga bin Goba, Gwenzega, go nineteen fifty six in Semnan, Koto Guze Gube Manje, Guazulu Natal, Abantbes Fazane, Ababelwa, Umshaba, Geka Malak, Fanel Guti Amelo, Muntwes Lis, Loyum Shaba, Ubusu, Upaliswa, Geka Malal, Loyo Weslis, Logo Gaga Shinji, Sanginem Yago seventy four. Cotton day and Zagangin and Miago ten, I got as a shinches, Nemiag and a pezzle were twenty five, singing a good man with a draining, go to a log at Kazik shinch. All right, so Mama Susanna, just to translate for our viewers, basically telling us that uh, it started off when her father was uh, went to move to, move to Johannesburg uh, to work and uh, she was left at home. And at that time, uh, was not able to, her mother was not able to uh, take up ownership of the household and uh, had to rely on a young family member, a male, uh, to get a house, but was always subject to being evicted uh, because women had no rights whatsoever. So, Mama, have things changed over the years? Uh, all right, it looks like uh, we're struggling to get her to hear what we're saying. We'll try and get back to her as soon as we can. But it is a, a story that's actually quite typical across the continent where land rights, ownership rights, vest mostly in uh, male children and male uh, uh, male adults and so this is a case where she uh, and her daughter uh, were unable to have any kind of land tenure in the rural areas uh, because of the laws at the time and she went to the local chief and said to the chief um, please help us with our story and the chief said look 
I wish your daughter was a son because if your daughter was a son, I would have been able to help you. But in this case, you're going to have to bring a male figure to come and then I'll be able to allocate land to you. And this is a story that uh, despite the new democracy that came in 1994, uh, some of the struggles that uh, women in general, but particularly in rural parts of the country, uh, continue to be vulnerable. All right. Uh, Mama Susanne, I was just asking you before we lost your contact with you, have things changed over time? Uh, traditional authority ya sendwedwe e, e, we traditional authority ya sendwedwe unduna ubaba un, ungobo wathi ingoba niya ubanga umhlaba kusho ukuthi sekufanele ukuthi ubuyele enkosini kuloko kusho kwakhe umhlaba wakuboka mama mkati owa u 13 hectares unduna ngobo use utayisile 40000 rand umasizwa 40000 rand a isaithi okusho ukuthi masilinganisa utholile uha fe milioni ngomhlaba wakububoka mama mkati ngaphandle kwemvume yaka mama mkati futhi leyo mali ayizuya kuboka mama mkati zininga kakhulu izinto engayikhuluma eziyilinganiso zokuthi umsebenzi wethu eswenzayo zingakanani inkinga ngesihlangabezana nazo akayedwa mama mkati baningi kakhulu abantu besifazane abahlukumezekile all right. So again, she's saying that things haven't changed. In fact, things have gotten worse. And she's citing an example of a case that they're currently dealing with at this, at this time where uh, a, a woman has lost her land because uh, she hasn't uh, got a male representative to assist her in the case. And these are the, some of the challenges that women continue to face, and uh, particularly in the rural areas where patriarchy and uh, cultural practices uh, continue to marginalize to women at large. To Mama Susanna, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much uh, indeed. Nyabonga Kakulu, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Nyabonga